Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Linux kernel struct IP header uh, data structure. And in case you have uh, not watched my you know previous video on uh, struct IP header, you know you can watch it and then uh, you know you can watch this video so that you can you know get the flow uh, you know in terms of introduction of this data structure in my previous video and things like that. So in this episode, I am going to cover uh, you know a kind of custom code which I have written so to demonstrate various fields how you can utilize. Uh, uh, from the struct IP header data structure. As a case of example, I have uh, uh, taken a source IP address, destination IP address and we can print each incoming packet actually. So I have injected my custom code in uh, you know TCP IP v4 stack of Linux kernel in IP input uh, .c file as such. So uh, now let me show my demonstration. So let's just get to my desktop guys. So this is my code guys. I am trying to parse uh, each incoming packet as you can see here and you know what it does is first it checks uh, whether the packet is IPv4 packet and you know as you can see I am writing this uh, I am injecting my code in uh, IP underscore input dot C file which is in uh, net IPv4 uh, folder of the Linus kernel source as you can see here as such. So in this uh, what I am doing is I am branching out with an if statement whether it is an IPv4 uh, packet with this and inside you can see this code. In another case you can see if it is IPv6 I am just branching out and uh, in this case what I am doing is first I am printing uh, if the incoming uh, current packet is coming from which port actually. So you know there is a pointer from SKB to dev which is you know net device data structure and from there I am getting this name and printing this name so that it prints from which port this uh, packet is coming. The next thing what I am doing is I am extracting this IP header uh, pointer with this API and I hope I have discussed uh, in my uh, previous uh, video of struct IP header uh, series which you can refer in terms of uh, this API. So I am getting this pointer and from that pointer uh, I am uh, checking its uh, IP headers uh, protocol field and uh, you know if it is uh, IP proto TCP type I am just printing it is a TCP packet which we which we got and if it is UDP I am printing it is an UDP packet and uh, so on as such. In case it is ICMP I am printing it as ICMP packet. Actually. The next important thing is we can uh, print its uh, you know source IP and destination IP of this uh, specific packet actually. So for that what is the thing is you have this uh, you know uh, uh, print format uh, string which is this uh, you know PI4 and this will print this uh, you know uh, the pointer which is the source IP address pointer uh, which exists in the byte format into a kind of printable text actually. So it will print uh, this is a sort of uh, you know 32 bit uh, data type actually. So it prints into a sc screen readable format as such so that you can get it in octet notation actually. So that is what happens here. And uh, you know in case if you are curious in terms of uh, learning this format strings, you can go inside the kernel source so documentation and print k formats dot txt file actually. So let me just uh, show you and I referred this in the online uh, you know kernel dot org you know official website uh, uh, you know file. So let me just show you. So we can go here documentation and inside it is in the print k format uh, formats dot txt actually. So we can just see that file here. Yeah, here it is print k formats and you can find um, various uh, custom formats actually. And in case if you are interested uh, to print a MAC address uh, from a you know pointer, you can just directly use this and you can print a MAC address in MAC address format actually. And uh, you know you have uh, also a format specifier for IPv6 uh, you know uh, IP address actually and you have this IPv4 uh, IP address actually. So as you can refer here it is uh, uh, lowercase p and then uppercase i and then followed by 4 actually. So this is the format specifier and uh, you know you can have various variants of this uh, format specifier as such whereas in the case of uh, you know a v6 packet it is just uh, instead of 4 you can use this 6 actually and it prints it in you know IPv6 uh, 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 IP address in you know human readable format as such. So I am just using this. So effectively what it happens is for each incoming packet it should uh, print you know its uh, uh, 
uh, port from which it is coming and then it should print uh, which is the transport layer uh, protocol and then it should print its uh, IP headers uh, source IP and destination IP and details like that actually. So let me just uh, compile this kernel. I can do this. Uh, I mean uh, there are uh, uh, people who commented in my YouTube uh, uh, channel that you know why don't you use a kernel module and uh, things like that. Uh, a kernel module is much more easier to maintain and things like that. But uh, you know I preferably uh, like to choose in terms of compiling the whole kernel and I like the freedom in terms of injecting my code whichever place I want as, it, as such. You know, I can use this NetFilter uh, hooks and then I can use some kernel module and then I can, you know, insert this code. I don't need to compile this entire kernel as such, but, you know, somehow I am comfortable in terms of compiling the entire kernel, whether it takes around uh, half an hour of time or things like that. But, you know, I like this freedom of injecting my code wherever it is required. And uh, this is a test code. I mean, I am not running this kernel, uh, you know, uh, for a day to day basis as such. So. Uh, in that case, you know, nothing is going to happen and of course it is going to blot, uh, you know, bloat the log files as such, but still, you know, it is a very, very good uh, way to demonstrate uh, and it's a very good way to, you know, kind of understand, uh, you know, how you can, uh, you know, learn a specific data structure actually. In case if you write a kernel module, you have to more focus about writing your hooks and then registering a kernel module and things like that. As you can see, in this case, you don't need to do those things actually. You can just write freely your code and, uh, you know, that's all about it actually. So let me just uh, uh, compile my kernel and uh, let me just uh, boot with this kernel and uh, let me just uh, show this, you know, real output in action as such. So here it is guys, I have compiled, installed and I have booted in my, you know, custom compiled kernel and, uh, you know, let me just uh, show you the log messages and, uh, you know, you can just, yeah, as you can see, you can see the packet uh, contents which it is parsing and printing over here and in this case, this is some local loopback packet. So let me just uh, open some website. Yeah, let me just open a test website. So as you can see, it is uh, you know parsing the packets and showing the contents. You know, let me just close this so that we can analyze a specific packet. Yeah, let me just cancel this capture and yeah. As you can see, it is uh, showing the port uh, name from which it is coming, and then it is showing its protocol. And it is showing, uh, you know, the source IP and destination IP in human readable, you know, IPv4 octet format actually. So, you know, this is how you can, uh, you know, choose to use your uh, IP header uh, data structure. And let me just once again show you my code. Yeah, this is how you can choose to use the IP header, uh, you know, data structure. And, uh, you know, you have uh, still more various APIs like in this case, uh, just above my code, you can see in the IP local deliver API, you have another uh, API called as IP is fragment actually. And this tells whether this IP header is a fragmented IP header as such. So in case, if it is fragmented, it is calling some IP defrag API as such, as you can see here as such. So uh, things like that. And, uh, you know, uh, this is how you can use. Uh, you know the IP header uh, data structure and in my upcoming videos on uh, IP header uh, struct data structure uh, video series I am going to show you uh, some more examples and uh, you know I am going to discuss uh, some more QA and uh, things like that actually. So please uh, post your uh, queries in YouTube uh, comment section. So I hope uh, you guys liked watching this video. That's all for this episode guys. So please do uh, post your comments uh, in YouTube comments and you know in case if you have any uh, queries you can post it in YouTube comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.